why. Um, I'm still at the uh, port. So while I can, I'm going to uh, use the internet and um, I said I'd make videos, so here it is. Um, first impressions of being on a cruise. Um, okay, well, first of all, the reason I went on a cruise, okay, this is a long story. I was supposed to go to South America like two years ago. That sounds like they're weighing anchor. You might start moving. You might get to see me absolutely freak out. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I was supposed to go to South America and I wanted to go as many places as possible, um, as quickly as possible. And, um, I basically figured that a um, cruise ship is like a floating um, hotel, that it would take me um, less time traveling because, you know, I wouldn't have to check into a hotel, unpack, sleep there, pack, check out, travel to the next one, etc. And again, it would save a lot of time. So, um, I was, I was supposed to go to South America, um, and I have this gigantic cruise credit because of it, and, um, I decided to just take this little one, because I just needed to get somewhere, and, um, I am very nervous about it. I am extremely high up. I'm on the 10th deck. I don't have like severe crazy um, fear of heights, but whatever. Um, it is a little bigger and a little bit more private. I'm kind of loud because I can hear everything that's going on outside. I'm sitting on the deck now. So I can sit on the deck by myself without people. And that is the issue. Um, is See, there's all these people, and people are always totally self-absorbed. They don't care about anybody else. So I don't actually have to worry about, like, other crew members paying attention to me. I mean, see, I'm not even talking right. That is the problem. The problem is the crew members. It's not the other passengers. Um, I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to be interacting with these people for three full days stuck on this boat together. But it's the crew that are trying so hard, for example. It's kind of horrifying. Um, the spa is trying to sell massages and all that crap. So they're like, like sort of perched outside of the, that's a helicopter. I'm sorry, it's just going to be laughing. Um, they're perched outside the elevator trying to get people to buy spa things. And I, I saw them and I just went right by and I said, I'm not going to do the spa. No, thank you. And um, I went by them for like another eight times and they remembered me not to ask again. And I'm like, ooh, me remembered. Oh, there's people around. Oh, there's the same people around. Um, I don't know what I'm doing and I feel like I need to ask for direction and help and uh, that is not my forte. Um, so initial impression, these people are killing themselves to make this a great experience. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, it's it's sort of the opposite of, for me, um, the type of avoidance I have, I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself for the 900th time, is um, that I am really good at being like a stranger in a crowd. And so, um, put me in a crowd and I, I can like be myself because I know nobody's gonna pay any attention to me. So that's why places like 
you know, big cities, and I keep going back to Disney and crap like that because nobody's going to pay attention to me. Nobody's going to recognize me. Nobody's going to remember me. This place is the complete opposite. It's a crowd, and there are many, many people that are trying to make tips. It's so hot out here. I mean, I've been sitting out here for less than 10 minutes, and I'm spitzing really bad. Anyway, uh, not used to it. Used to snow. Anyway, they're, they're knocking themselves out to remember people and to be of service, and it's like, ah. <laughs> it's it's very hard. Um, unfortunately, there are. It's not only people who are self-absorbed and into themselves and having their own private party. Um, there are other people here that clearly came on the cruise by themselves and are looking for other single people, and it's just like. Uh, away. I mean, I don't like to reject people, but I try not to notice them. But when there's only like a thousand people, and there's like five single people, all those thousand, they sort of, they sort of stand out. And their little radar is going crazy to, to run into each other. And uh, I, I got, I got on somebody's radar, and I'm just like, please no, please don't, please don't. Um, I didn't expect that to have the oh, somebody spray. I don't know what the hell that is, but I'm being feed on. won't be so hot, right? Because <laughs> I don't know what it is, like 90 degrees or something. That is unexpected. I don't know what that is. I wonder if there'll be more. It's not just somebody's drink. Anyway. Oh, they're doing it next door too. I don't know, man. Um, so, in general, I would recommend no to people with avoidant personality disorder to be on a cruise, unless you're on a cruise with all of your people. So, you know, if you're on a cruise, if you're the type of person that is the avoidant that has to be with your family only, and is really uncomfortable when you're not there, come in around people that you know really well. The, a cruise would be great for you because you could all go together. You could get like 12 people and go together and then you would have the benefits of being able to go to someplace different and also have your whole family with you while you're traveling. It'd be great. Um, and it would probably um, counteract the I can't go anywhere because my family won't be with me thing. Um, in theory, uh, that's my estimation. Um, they are making some noise out there. It's too bad I wasn't on the other side of the ship just now because the other side of the ship has this view of the um, skyline. I'll actually put up a little short so you can see it. Um, so, I don't know, I was nervous and anxious coming in from the get-go, and I kept thinking it's because I just haven't done this in so long. Um, this is the first time I'm going out of the country in two years. Um, it was, wasn't it? It was February of 2020. I went to Morocco, I think, so now I'm technically going to another country the first time. I don't know what that is. I wonder if it's going to be happening the entire time. Um, 
I haven't gotten wet though yet. But I need to get out of here before I can get wet. Anyway, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I will uh, put this up and hopefully I will still be within a regular internet area. Um, I should be in regular internet area again for a little bit tomorrow too. And if I have time, um, I'll see what I can do about making another video then. Um, in the meantime, um, yeah, this is my impression of this trip so far. People are so nice, and that's the problem. I want to be able to on those trips. Um, even the hotel. The hotel I went to had some issues. Um, but the guy at the front desk, like, totally remembered. Oh, it's, yeah, they're cleaning. Right there. Oh. Um, they're cleaning windows. Okay, so I'm going to stop this. Um, it's the it's the service actually is the problem. So find the find a cruise with like the worst ratings for service. That's the one you want to take to your personality disorder. Bye.